Let's now jump into a more adventure sort of landscape style photograph and I'll show you some sort of quick tips on how to use Photo Raw to bring it to life. So let's grab this adventure.cr2 image and I'm just going to head over to the edit module. And now that we're in the edit module here, the first thing that I want to do to this photograph is I want to go in and I want to swap the sky. And swapping the sky inside of Photo Raw is incredibly easy. And what I would recommend doing is sort of doing it this way. I would swap the sky first, right out of the gate. That way you can sort of match up your foreground and your sky tones and colors. So with this image, all I wanna do to swap the sky is just select this sky option. That will allow me to swap the sky really quickly. It will go in and will automatically find my sky. If I go into the masking options and I view this, you can see it's found the sky, it's found the foreground, it's found the person, and it's created a mask for me there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head into this sky section here right at the bottom. You can, of course, use the different presets as you would any other ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my category, and I'm going to go into these OccuDrone skies here, and I think I'm going to choose this OccuDrone Marshmallow category. It's a really awesome category, especially if you're looking for just a bit of awesome clouds and just bright blue color. So let's just go now into the sky menu and we can choose a different sky here. I think I'm gonna choose maybe OccuDrone 4. I know it's sort of tough to just pick your favorite one because there's so many amazing ones. And let's just choose this one here. This one looks pretty good on the image. And I think what I want to do is I want to just head down here into the sections here and I want to modify a bit of the appearance. Specifically, I think I'm going to modify the warmth and I, I'm going to warm it up just a little bit. That's also going to bright it, brighten it a little bit. And I think I'm going to use the brightness slider as well. And I'm going to brighten it up, just sort of match that, that really bright vibe that we had beforehand. So that looks pretty good. Let's just turn this off and on here. And it's looking great. Now one thing I wanna do here is just go into the develop tab. And this is where I'm gonna match up the consistency within my foreground. So in the develop tab, I'm just gonna add in a bit of contrast there. Maybe a little bit of mid-tone. And I want the whites to pop a hair a little bit as well just to make sure those, those bright clouds are sort of matching up with that bright environment. I think that looks pretty good just like, like that. So now let's go into the effects tab here. And actually let's use the super select AI tool. It's super easy to use. And I really enjoy it for images like this because I can just hover over it and pick different sections. So I'm just gonna hit K on my keyboard. Remember, that's gonna grab that super select tool, which you can grab from your tool well on the left. And I'm just going to hover over and I'm going to select the person and her bike. And keep in mind that if you if you hover over a section and it doesn't select the entirety of that section, you know, sometimes masking in here isn't entirely perfect. Um, it, you may just have to select a different section. So here it's recognized the bike as a separate section, which is actually awesome, then the person but we want to select both of them. So we're gonna select her and then we'll just hover over the bike and select that. And then we've selected those two different sections. And then what we're gonna do is just let's add in a bit of contrast and some detail to her. And again, I'll use that surreal. I know it may be a little intense, but I just really want that on there just to give it a little bit more detail and punch. So I'll pull that opacity back to fine tune. Let's just turn it off and on. She's really popping out of the frame. Everything looks gravy. I think the only thing I wanna add on now, well, maybe a couple more things, but one thing I wanna add on here, and I think I'll apply it by heading over here to the apply with mask two section. The next thing I want to apply, I'm gonna to go to natural ground, sky, mountain. So everything but our person and the bike there. And what I wanna do is I'm just going to add on probably a glow again. And the reason I wanna add on a glow is to sort of perform the same thing that we did before, but this time I'm gonna use this darker option there. And the reason I wanna do this is because the glow filter is going to really blend in this sky with sort of this glowy backdrop and this uh, a little bit out of focus mountain section there. 
And that blur is going to help sort of create continuity within the scene. And already it's looking much, much better. So if we turn that off and on there, it's looking much more consistent. Let's add one last filter here. So now let's add one last filter here. And I want to add on a filter that just deals with the color grading of the image. I think maybe a more color graded look would look a bit better on this image since it is a much more adventure style uh, photograph. Maybe we could add sort of an adventure style look onto the photo. And an easy way to apply a quick, powerful look is by heading into the LUTs here. LUTs are really awesome for color grading and adding on just sort of a powerful punch of style. Let's just choose that there. And this will apply it to the entirety of the photograph. You can see if we turn this off and on, it hasn't targeted anything in particular. It's just modifying the entirety of the photograph. And what we want to do here is let's just go into this more menu. And one of my favorite ones for adventure is this morning person. So let's just hit the backslash key on the keyboard. And I'm really digging it. It's sort of a nice dramatic uh, color toned image and it looks really nice with this particular style there.